Protests and strikes continue in the French capital, Paris, against the government's proposed pension reform to raise retirement age from 62 to 64 on the eve of a crucial televised interview of the President Emmanuel Macron. Protesters have been playing cat and mouse with police in cities across France from last week, setting bins and barricades on fire while police responded with tear gas. It's time for radicality. And yes, having masses on the streets was not enough. When there were 3.5 million of us in the streets, well, Emmanuel Macron still did not listen to what we had to tell him. So now, we have to shift to more radical means of action, especially blocking the economy. And on that, we have a part to play. I don't expect much from Macron's speech. We are holding a new day of protests on Thursday. It's going to be massive once again to say that whether he bypasses parliament vote or not, whether there is a vote of no confidence or not, we don't want this slow and we will fight until it is withdrawn. Ongoing strikes led to piles of uncollected rubbish left for days in some of Paris' most prestigious avenues shortages of fuel and transport disruption. While opposition lawmakers vowed to force a U-turn and unions prepared for a nationwide action on Thursday that could paralyze the whole country. Amidst this chaotic situation, the French leader will break his silence today. In an attempt to calm public anger over his pension reform and outline plans after his administration survived the no-confidence motion in Parliament. And despite fierce opposition to the reforms, the leader said he is to keep the government in place and will not dissolve parliament. Violent unrest which has erupted across the country in recent days is leaving Macron to face the most dangerous challenge to his authority since the Yellow Vest uprising over four years ago.